Hello students, today we are going to be discussing about geography's model answer, the test which has been asked upon on 11th of August. This is the answer, answer for the solution and the key to it. This question paper was for the 21 test and the duration was for one hour. Right? The chapters covered out here was chapter number one, chapter number two and chapter number eight. So let's quickly begin with the very first question. The first question which was asked for four marks is fill in the blanks. Uh, ideally speaking, you expected to write down the entire statement with the answer and I want you to underline the answer, right? So the first question, Richter scale is a unit of measuring the magnitude of an earthquake, right? The main motive of dash economy is to earn profit. Remember, when it comes to profit, it is always capitalist. And when it comes to uh, social economy, it is always the social welfare of the people, right? Third, the distribution of population is shown by dash method. The answer is dot method. It's easily plottable on the map. And for that reason, they prefer using the dot method. The quantity can easily be covered. The movement that gives rise to the mountains are called as dash movement. The answer is orogenic movement. Now, children, when you are writing down these four statements and the answer, that is when you score full four marks, right? Please ensure that you are not copying down the entire statement. For fill in the blanks, you are expected to write down in the complete statements. Right? Let's come to the very next question. Give reasons why the following statements or sentences are right or wrong. Any four had to be attended or had to be attempted out of all the questions given to you. It was an eight mark question. So the first question is the main aim of distribution map is to show location. The answer is wrong. Again, main aim of distribution map is to show the distribution of variables. You can show temperature, rainfall, population. More or less, distribution maps are type of thematic maps, a theme. And based upon that, the maps have been prepared. So these special themes like distribution of various variables in a particular region have been shown or prepared or been uh, made on the map. They make use of different methods to show the distribution of variables like temperature, rainfall, population. Thus, the main aim of distribution map is to show the distribution of variables in a particular region. Now, children, remember one thing, when you're covering these points, that's when you can expect a full two marks, right? Um, of course, a lot of questions, it may be asked a lot many times, it, uh, it's been asked by students, so, thoda language change ho gaya ya thoda words yaha ho gaya chale ga gaya. Ideally speaking, I would suggest that jitna ho sake aap textual words ko use ki jai, that is a preferable option. The framing of the statement can be, again, your own words, but the terms and the words should be as per the textbook. Please do not change that. Right? All right, let's come to the next question. Most of the volcanoes are found on the plate boundaries. The answer is right. The plate boundaries are directly related to the areas of volcanoes. Wherever you find the plate boundaries, usually you find the volcanoes and the earthquakes taking place on the same boundary. Most of the volcanoes are located on the plate boundaries. The part of the plate boundary which slides under the crust results in the loss of various materials. Such boundaries are called as plate consuming boundaries. In areas where new material, as magma, is coming up on the Earth's crust, they are called as plate creating boundaries. Something new is being created. Right? Both the processes result in earthquakes and volcanoes, because most of the volcanoes are formed in the plate boundaries. They may also ask you that most of the volcanoes, or they may ask you most of the earthquakes, are found on the plate boundaries. You can ideally utilize the same answer for that. Right? Remember, again, it's a two mark question. Nearly three to four points is expected from. Your state. All right, let's come to the third question. India's economy is of mixed type. Now, when they say mixed type, basically we are talking about private individuals as well as public. So, both of them are going to be done, both the sectors are going to be in the, uh, they will be found in the mixed economy. The public sector and the private sector both will be found. So, let's understand mixed economy is a combination of capitalism and socialism. That is, in simple words, if I have to say, capitalism is private sector, socialism is more public sector. Now, in India, both of them will be coexist. 
So India is said to be a mixed economy because there is a coexistence of both public and private sectors. The private sector undertakes the production for the profit motive to earn money, whereas the state tries to achieve social welfare, the betterment of the people. India therefore tries to achieve a balance between maximum social welfare for its citizens on one hand and profit on the other. Therefore, India's economy is a mixed stack where both of them are coexisting together. Right? All right. So this is where you actually score full two marks. And please stick to these wordings and statements. They are very simple, but yet you will be able to score full two marks. Right? And remember, whatever language we've been using out there is actually from the textbook. So practically, we've just made it in the question answer format. Right? All right. Let's come to the fourth question. The Coroplex maps are used to show altitudes. The answer is wrong. Isoplate maps and not the Coroplate maps have been utilized to show altitude, that is elevation, height, okay, in simple words. When the distribution of a variable is continuous, or like uh, altitude, for example, the isoplate map is utilized for that. When we have a continuous variability increasing. The isoplate maps use the lines joining the locations having the equal values and hence are useful to show the change in a region. So it's quite easy for us to understand the different fluctuations. When the distribution discontinues, that is, it is broken, the coroplate map method is utilized to show its distribution. For example, you can show distribution of population, domestic animals. So ideally, that is utilized more for coroplate maps. For continuous variability, they prefer using more of ice plate maps, right? So please be careful with that. And I hope you've written the right answer. Next question. The barren island has become a conical in shape. The answer is right. Barren island, which was considered as a dormant volcano, has become active since February 2017. Mainly dust, smoke, mud are been coming out during this eruption, along with some lava. During eruption, the lava is spread around the mouth of this wind. Okay, around the mouth of this wind when it comes out. As a result, a cone shaped mountain starts forming, and therefore, Baden Island is becoming conical in shape. Very simple answer, full two marks you can score. Please do attempt the answers as per your convenience. But uh, choose a smarter option for it, which was simple and less information that so you can easily score marks. Right? All right, let's proceed to the next question. Now the answers in detail or answer in brief are there. So these are basically for four mark. So let's see. Explain the use and types of distributional maps. So the main aim of distributional maps is to show distribution of different variables like temperature, rainfall, population. These following maps have been distributed or the following types of distributional maps are being seen. The first one being dot method. Children, whenever you're writing a type of a map, please underline it. And this is how you have to write it down. The distribution map based on statistical data, count, number, made by this method makes use of dots of pre-decided size to show the distribution of a particular variable. For example, dot method, which uses to show the population of a region, distribution of cattle. Remember, all this information has been calculated. And based upon that, the map has been prepared. The values also been decided based upon that. Right? Next, the coroplate method. The distribution map made by this method makes use of shades or tints of various colors to show the distribution of a particular variable. For example, coroplate method map is used to show the population density, the types of forest cover, the usage of lands. So over here, you find that one particular color is being utilized, right? You may also find that a same tint can be utilized. For example, you'll find uh, a blue color tint, the darker being on the higher side of a variable and uh, the lighter blue being on the lower side of the variable. So same color tint can also be utilized out here. In other case, they can also use different, different colors as well to show the information out here. Isoplate method. The distribution map made by this map or other method makes use of lines which are joining the locations or places having the same or equal values of a particular variable. For example, isoplate method map is utilized to show altitudes where you have common altitudes out there. Then you can utilize it for temperatures where we have, uh, if you must have uh, uh, seen in the textbook, there is a map which has been shown 
where uh, the temperatures have been mentioned and they're connecting the lines having the same values. And that also goes for wave. Children, it's a detailed answer, but a very simple answer. And if you're covering these points, trust me, you can score full marks. Okay? Please ensure to stick to the actual language. Let's come to the next question. What are the effects of earthquake on Earth's surface and human life? So these are the following effects. Ideally speaking, we expect you, if it's a four mark question, ideally it should be eight. But if you write down these seven, you score full marks. Right? The first, cracks and fractures have been developing. So when I say cracks and fractures have been developing, these are gaps, cracks, which have been seen on the ground. Second, these cause landslides, wherein you find the sliding of the rocks all the way down. Third, sometimes the groundwater changes its course. For example, the wells may get dry up and uh, the water eventually is shifted to some other areas. Some areas may get uplifted while some may get subsided during an earthquake. So we have seen that if you remember the Sagami Bay and all. And uh, we also have uh, another example of uh, Nicobar Islands. Okay, In Nicobar Islands, we had the Indira Point. During the tsunami, it got submerged under the water. So at that time, the land may get uplifted, it may get subsided too. Tsunamis are generated in oceans. When I say tsunamis are generated in ocean, we all know the fact where tsunamis are taking place. These waves can cause a great loss of life and property in the coastal areas. And when I say these waves can, got great, can cause a great loss of life and property, I'm pretty much sure when India had experienced that. And we all know the fact the mass, massive destruction what is being brought about by the tsunamis. In snow-covered areas, avalanches are taking place. They're similar to landslide, but they take place in snow conditions. In mountainous areas where snow has been found. So that is where you get to see them. Building collapses, loss of life and property also occurs. And of course, we all know the fact how earthquakes are supposed to be there. Right? So again, it's a very simple answer, children. Please do go ahead and score full marks in these topics. Remember, your chapters are very simple. The initial chapters are quite scoring, so you can capitalize on them. Right? All right, let's come to the next question. A very simple and yet a very scoring one. Distinguish between. First is the block mountain and the fold mountain. So when I say it's for two marks, usually two to three points is more than enough. So you write down two points and one, third one being the example, it is sufficient. So let's talk about the block and the full mountains. Block mountains. When a part of the earth's crust between two parallel fault is lifted, a block mountain has been formed. On the other hand, because of the energy waves and pressure working towards each other, opposite direction, the layers of the soft rock may fold, okay, they may create folds, leading to formation of the fold mountains. And I'm pretty much sure you must be uh, aware about Himalayas, how they are a perfect example of that. Block mountains are formed due to tension, okay. So when I say block mountains are formed due to tension, we all know the fact tension is when they are supposed to be coming together. And fold mountains are formed due to compression. Likewise, the Black Mountains of the Europe and Meghalaya Plateau of India are an example of that. And in Fold Mountains, you have the Himalayas, the Ravlis, the Rockies, the Amlis, the Alps. Any of the examples can be taken. Any one to two examples, more than enough. So over here, you can score full two marks. Let's come to the capitalist economy, mixed economy with two examples. So first, ownership and management under capitalist economy. Remember, when I say the word capital, it's always money, profit made it, right? So ownership and management is in the means, there's ownership and management of means of production is in the hands of the private individuals. Whereas in a socialist economy, the means of production completely belongs to the society as a whole and is under the control of the government. The main aim of capitalist economy is to earn maximum profit in capitalist economy. In social economy, the main aim is to achieve social welfare, the betterment of the people out here. Right? So the country's government looks after the people, the betterment of the people, and there are innumerable examples of that. So when it comes to agriculture, land utility, everything in social economy will be decided by the government. In a capitalist economy, everything is in the hands of the private individual. To take an example, in capitalist economy, we have the USA, Germany, Japan. In social economy, we have Russia and China, right? So I hope, children, this uh, model answer has played an important role in making you understand your mistakes. And children, also remember, these topics are very simple to score, and I expect you to score full marks out.
Nevertheless, I mean, if you made a mistake, understand your mistake, identify them, work upon it, and ensure when the next examination, the same topics are repeated, you're scoring the maximum marks out here. Right? All right, with that, thank you so much, and wishing you all the very best for your next examination. Thank you. Thank you so much.